Good morning. I'm at Sheboygan Harbor. I stayed here last night at this hotel called the Blue Harbor Hotel. And um, I'm at a retreat weekend for Healthy Climate Wisconsin. And this morning when I woke up to come out for a walk, I realized that just less than two years ago, I was at the same location playing mini golf, putt-putt golf with my girls back there. Um, Tim was in the hospital at the time and a dear friend had gifted us with gift certificates to go out for pizza at one of our favorite places, um, Il Retrovo here in Sheboygan. And while we were playing mini golf, I was in this weird place of like feeling heartbroken about Tim and the news of the likely prognosis for him was weighing heavy on me. And yet I also knew my daughters needed me, like really needed me to just be there with them. And so I allowed myself to kind of like set all of that aside and just be with them and be a mom, be a friend, be a fun person to hang out with for a bit and not be cancer. And um, I think what's sitting with me this morning is like this is the first weekend away doing something for myself something that I am super passionate about that doesn't have anything to do with cancer. Um, and I'm getting ready to embark on a trip with the girls that doesn't have anything to do with cancer. And after everything being about cancer for just shy of two years, it feels really strange. I'm not gonna lie, like a part of it feels a little scary because I feel like my whole identity and our family's identity has been like wrapped up in cancer. And you'd think like that wouldn't be scary to let go of. <laughs> but it's just like, who am I now without cancer? <laughs> who am I without Tim? Um, I know I'm lots of things without both of those because I was lots of things before, but this has become a lot of who I am and who my presence is on the platforms that I'm in. Um, for a lot of you who've been listening to me blab on for the past few years, um, as I share kind of all of the insides of this journey and the outsides of it. Um, and I've felt a desire to shift to changing the tune of my posts. Um, so I feel like tomorrow as we embark on our trip, that feels like a good birthplace and birth time for navigating now to begin. Um, yeah, this feels like a good day to declare the end to our cancer journey. Um, it's not an end to Tim by any means. It's a beginning to allowing Tim to really shift and become just him again. And all of the good that he was, all of the things that he was passionate about, to let those things live on. Um, to allow me to move on and focus on the things that I'm passionate about. And some of those things will be influenced by cancer. Some of those things will be 
continuing to shed light on cancer because cancer is a part of this bigger thing that we're dealing with, which is environmental degradation and climate impacts. But So tomorrow we open to Italy and we open to adventure and we open to fun and exploration. Um, we open to freedom. Um, I don't know what else we open to, I'm sure a lot. Um, personally open to myself <laughs> and good morning <laughs> um, yeah so I'm just allowing you to take in the scene because it's pretty beautiful for the ride. 